um, I thought I'd share um, this little portrait that I'm painting. It's only um, an A4 piece of paper, but this is part of a portrait course that I'm taking with Susan Lyon, who is my absolute favourite portrait artist. I'm very lucky to be able to do the course. Um, and I, um, this course is aimed at looking at portraits in a different way in terms of colour. Um, so looking at complementary colours, so we have the green background and purpley pink, which are complementary colours um, to be used in the portrait. So I've mixed here five shades um, to paint the portrait and that's the only colours that I'm going to use. So um, it's this red, which is carmine, mixed with a bit of blue to get a um, dark purple, a bit lighter. And, and this is actually the same shade. I decided I wanted it lighter. So uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five. Um, and you can watch me paint a little bit of it. Thank you. 
So the painting that I was working on um, in last week's video, the Cricuter, um, I've finished that now and um, it's actually, I quite like to do this, so on my painting shelf I tend to put the works that I've just finished and I like to see the impact, you know, as I walk into the studio. So these are my last two, I think. So I can see that, you know, I'm really happy with that. That's, that's got a great impact. And my experimenting with the kind of um, different colours that I could see in the shadow. I was a little bit brave with it, you know, I went with it, went with some even in the vase. Um, they have actually paid off and when you when I step back I can see that you know I'm not what I, I was concerned about was whether I would lose the sense that it was a, a you know a test cricketer and test white but now I'm I'm quite happy with it and um, I don't think I've lost anything I think I've gained it's um it's a, an impactful painting I, I, I've enjoyed it, it was it was hard <laughs> it was hard to paint it sort of blown my mind for the last week and um but yeah I'm pleased with it so it's um as you know it's oil painting and the panel is it's a pure poplar wood it's about that thick I quite like these ones these um so this is it I'm really into these panels at the moment so this is um a cord let's have a look um the manufacturer is, get that to focus, there you go, Bell RT, that's the manufacturer, called Gesso Panels and there are poplar, poplar wood, so um, this is is the wood and they come with this like white it's a bit smooth for me and um, this white gesso panel so I tend to put some um, grit in to make it a little bit gritty but I'll show you that at another time and I've actually only got that one and then a small one which I can probably do my legend series on that's all I've got left actually so I'm gonna have to order some more there we go all done Right, so um, I'm, what I'm doing here is just doing a portrait um, from the live drawing references I get. Um, just playing around with charcoal, experimenting. And put, just put some tape down to decide I didn't want to paint the mouth. I use a combination of hard charcoal, which is nitrum, that's a stick that's been used there, and um, soft charcoal. So when I say hard charcoal, I don't mean charcoal pencils. This is just a, that's the soft charcoal there actually. Took the tape off and then didn't know what to do. And uh, then scribbled over the mouth instead. <laughs> quite like just drawing a little section of a portrait I kind of get bored if I'm going to do the whole lot so I thought I'd just focus on what I like to draw and leave it at that thank you for watching my video this week please feel free to ask any questions in the comments